हेलो 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 हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू न्यू वीडियो ऑल दो आई वाज नॉट अबाउट टू मेक दिस वीडियो बिकॉज वी हैड ब्रॉट टुडेज वीकली कॉन्टेस लाइव डिस्कशन सो इट हैज बीन पिटी लेट एंड यूजली इफ इट ब्रिंग्स पिटी लेट इट्स ऑफ नो यूज बट स्टिल आई एम ब्रिंग इन बिकॉज आई सॉ मेनी पीपल गिविंग अ वेरी एबसर्ड and very lengthy solution for this but it's a very easy problem like not easy in implementation but easy to just think of so it just says three things we have a food ratings um it just says food ratings is food cuisines and ratings now food cuisines and ratings we have just these three arrays what we have to do is initially we can just have a constructor which will initialize these three arrays itself and that's pretty much okay for us but the thing which happens or which we need to focus on is change rating this change rating will in will have a food and a rating so which will in turn say for this specific food it is a new rating so internally you can just imagine that previously i would have something that for every food i will have a rating assigned to it so that is what we need to maintain also and when i will call change rating so for this specific food i should just change the rating that is it so i need to maintain a map from food to rating so i'll just do the same thing i'll make a i'll maintain a map from food to rating itself that is a food rating map which i will need to maintain because of the question requirements nothing from my side now another thing for the question requirement is find the highest rated string or basically i'll just get a cuisine for that cuisine find the highest rated food which means return the name of the food item so i just from this cuisine i have to return the food item from this cuisine i have to return the food item so again for sure for this cuisine i need to maintain a food item and for sure as you saw that i can have multiple food items which can be in one cuisine so ultimately it is also making sure that we will actually keep a vector or a set or any of the data structure which can accommodate multiple of foods but depending upon it is said depending upon highest rated give me the one having the highest rating so for the food i also need to maintain its rating also that for that cuisine i have food but also maintain for that food also maintain a rating side by side for that food also maintain the rating for that food also maintain the rating so that when and with for this you can either use a priority queue or a set or a map anything but i know that for this food item i can all i i also need to maintain the rating so that what will happen is for this cuisine as a map i will be using a set or a map of rating to a food item but make sure i need to grab the maximum highest rating by default the set is in the increasing order as in if you just starting if you just try to access these initial values it will give you the lowest value possible so just put a negative sign to get the highest value possible so this cuisine for that specific food item will return you will will be having the highest rating which will return you the food item but did you see one thing that if the rating changes of a food because if a rating changes of a food you need to also update in this cuisine in this cuisine which means you have a string to a set of pair of values where the pair is from rating to the food item this is a pair which you have if the rating of a food changes you also need to update this pair in the set for that specific cuisine if i give you an example this was the food rating map which you made for every specific food you have a rating and this was let's say for this specific cuisine i have these as the rating and the food for for us which we wanted ultimately but if i go and say for this food i updated the rating as let's say 12 so ultimately i need to come in this specific cuisine go to this specific pair and update this also to a 12 so ultimately you saw that from the food i need to come to cuisine from this cuisine i'll go on to the actual pair how to know the pair simple from food i came on to cuisine which means i know the food for sure and from food i also know the rating for sure so i can just find for this pair which means finding function should be 
द फास्टेस्ट फंक्शन पॉसिबल सो आई विल यूज अ सेट ओनली आई कैन यूज अ प्राइट क्यू बट देन आई विल हैव टू फिगर आउट मेनी हैक्स फॉर इट सो आई यूज अ सेट बिकॉज I will need to update this specific pair inside my entire set. So I know I will have to update two. I will have to update twelve comma kimchi. Kimchi. I'll go and find for this specific cuisine. But brother, how to come from cuisine? How to come from food to a cuisine? Which means I will also need to maintain a map from the food to the cuisine also, so as to update the rating for that specific cuisine pair. So I will also maintain a food to cuisine map. Food. to a cuisine map which will help me to bring for that specific food what is the cuisine and thus i ultimately need three maps two maps were given by the question itself which was the food rating map question says and also the cuisine rating map or cuisine to food pair map that also question was saying just to reach from this one map to other map i need a food to cuisine map which i will get it from my answer and thus by using these three pairs you can simply update your values and simply keep on returning these two functions let's quickly see that how we can code this up and that's pretty simple as in the beginning uh, we also saw that we will maintain these three maps right so i will have uh, firstly an unordered map now for sure this unordered map will be of strings to the cuisine ratings uh, which means i just need to have q c u i s i n e cuisine ratings so this map will will make sure that i i am from like it's a set of pair of what from a integer value which is because from rating to a food rating int to a string this says this says from a cuisine cuisine to a set of like a pair of rating and when i say rating i'll just push a minus rating to like rating and what and other thing is that specific food cool now this is first map other map as we saw uh, we need to have a food rating map again uh, for that specific string um, to other string i will need to have a food rating map but rating is for the integer so i'll just push an integer here so i'll just get a food rating uh, food rating map now when this food rating map is done for me i need another map to go from cuisine to so i food to cuisine so i need to have a string and i'll say string to string and this will be my food to cuisine food food to cuisine c u i s i n e so this is the three maps which i need i can simply iterate on all the values of my list which i have in the beginning and with these values i know that i have food i have cuisines i have my ratings so uh, in the beginning i will just go and say for this cuisine rating in this cuisine rating i need to pass in my cuisines so for that specific cuisines of i just simply uh, in a set you can just insert rather than push back so you will just simply insert this specific pair now pair as i mentioned i need to have a rate things ratings of that specific i and also the food corresponding to that i now when i have done the rating uh, which means i have made the cuisine one and now i need to make a food rating so i just say for that specific food which is the foods of uh, i i need to assign okay the current rating for this is ratings of i now my rating is done my cuisine ratings is done i just now need to go to a food to cuisine uh, food to cuisine uh, i need to say for this specific for this specific food of i it is the cuisine cuisine of i now when this entire stuff is done uh, we have got in the cuisines so this is let's paste it here now our entire mapping is done now as soon as i say just change the rating so firstly uh, i can just simply go and say okay um, just simply go and say for this specific food rating for this specific food just change the rating to a new rating but is this enough 
is this enough no it, it is not enough because you have also maintained this cuisine to rating map which is having a set of pair of values so please make sure that you maintain these so what i'll do is um, i can just say that get me that specific cuisine q u i s i n e just, just just get me that specific cuisine for this specific food so i can just go to food to cuisine and i will go and grab the cuisine of that specific food now i have got the cuisine but food to cuisine this specific food i have got and found out i just simply know that for in my this entire cuisine ratings um, set i will just go and erase this specific existing pair the specific existing pair so i know that i need to go and get the old rating so i'll go and get the old uh, rating because i know my new rating is this new rating so i'll just get uh, the old rating whatsoever i had my old rating which for that specific food will be the food rating for this specific food i know i have to erase this old rating uh, and the and it's a pair so it's an old rating and that specific food and i just have to push in in this uh, my set i just have to push in uh, say insert and insert what new rating uh, new rating and this new food when this entire thing is done just go and ask for in this specific cuisine ratings so in this specific cuisine rating for this specific cuisine for this specific cuisine i just wanted to get the value which is as high as possible so i'll just go and ask begin it is an iterator so it should go and get the value but it is a pair and for that pair i want the only i just wanted the food ultimately if you remember i just wanted the name of the food so that is a second value so i can just simply return that just quickly compile and see if we have no so yeah just corrected some syntax issue on this foods and foods and also here it was a map so just corrected that and ultimately um, it is now giving the correct answer just quickly see and compile yeah that's well so with this in the simple short and concise code with just three maps you can simply get this solved i hope that you guys got it so you're gonna be good bye bye